White House now, where top aide and Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, now has his top security clearance restored after months in limbo and a second extensive interview with Robert Mueller's team. Our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, has all the latest. And Cecilia, this is significant good news for Kushner. Yeah, George, it really is because this delay in granting Kushner the security clearance had raised some questions that perhaps special counsel Robert Mueller's team maybe found some kind of evidence that made Kushner a security threat. But now more than a year into this administration, he's got that clearance. It comes after Kushner sat down for a second, very long seven hour interview with the Mueller team. There were questions focused on Kushner's time in the campaign during his time in the transition. And of course, we're told extensive questions about his foreign contacts during all those moments. But you know, George Kushner's attorney says that Mueller's team and other prosecutors made it very clear that they do not believe Kushner has done anything to merit him being charged. So good news for him here today. I mean, the big meetings also today between the heads of the FBI, Justice Department and top congressional officials over those unfounded allegations that President Trump calls Spygate. There's no evidence that the FBI infiltrated the Trump campaign, but the members of Congress will learn about this informant who met with Trump officials. Zero evidence about this one, and the president seems to have clearly made up his mind. He's no longer implying spies had, has, have infiltrated his campaign. He is insisting it happened. Republicans have been demanding to see these classified documents about surveillance. The Justice Department said they didn't want to turn, turn them over. They were fearful uh, that confidential sources could be exposed. Democrats were outraged about being shut out, but now both sides, George, today are going to get to see those documents. Right in the middle of the day. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Rob. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.